In this brief video I'm going to show you how to check whether your HP ProLiant ML110 G5 server has got the Intel virtualization technology or Intel VT feature turned on or not. By default when you get it, it uh, it's turned off so if you want to run any virtualization hypervisor such as Microsoft's Hyper-V, VMware's ESX or Zen server you'll want to go into the BIOS here and enable it. So to do that reboot the server bring it up into the BIOS like the screen you see in front of you and along the top you'll see there's five tabs by default it goes into the main tab we want the second one along that says advanced and then we want to go down to the second option that says advanced processor options once we have that highlighted press enter and from here you'll see all the advanced processor options now one thing to bear in mind with the uh, ML110 G5 there are different models available um, and they do come with different CPUs. Uh, there are some, uh, especially these days because stock levels are, are um, diminishing, there are less Xeon based processors um, uh, available on the market. So chances are you'll probably, if you if to buy one now, it's probably going to be one of the standard Intel dual CPUs. Um, and unfortunately that doesn't come with the Intel virtualization um, technology feature on the chipset at all so you wouldn't see this feature at all though if you are fortunate enough to have one of the Xeon based uh, ML110 G5s you will see this option so what we're going to do is drive down to the fifth setting there the one that says Intel virtualization technology uh, you'll see on mine it's already turned on it's enabled because uh, I've already been in once before and enabled it but what you'd normally do there if that was disabled you just press enter select enabled like so and then once you're happy with that pr press escape go along to exit which is the last tab on the right hand side and you want the last option which says save settings because obviously you want to change uh, save the change you've just made and press enter it'll ask you whether you want to uh, confirm whether you want to save that change of course you do press enter once again and that setting has now been changed. So upon the reboot of the server um, it will now start up with the Intel virtualization technology or VT uh, feature enabled on the chipset.